Freddie Rangira and Kalia Uwedegije have been campaigning for media inclusion of the deaf since 2014. According to the latest census, there are more than 30,000 people with hearing disorders in Rwanda. Yet few in the broader public are aware of the challenges that come with deafness. The deaf community is among us the marginalized into even the disability movement. They are the ones who are more marginalized than others. The idea to launch Media for the Deaf came from a research project on how the media serves disabled people. The findings were alarming. With only one news program available in sign language, deaf people in Rwanda have extremely limited access to information. After the recommendation I got, I said, what is my contribution or my solution to that problem that they are facing as someone who started journalism and communication? Today, the media team is preparing for the next video shoot for their hashtag sign your name campaign. Diane Gashumba, the Minister of Gender and Family Promotion, has agreed to participate. The two activists were inspired by the success of the recent ice bucket challenge on social media. I thought it would be uh, easy, but it was difficult. But I was supported and uh, it was good. It was a good experience. The minister also promised further support for the team and their initiative down the track. 48 celebrities have already taken part, among them local artists, athletes and actors. Chowara kugani ra murui mirgua maring. Ese kuchio ta jira jaza. Murakuz. The group recently won a Young Rwandan Achievers Award for their efforts. Freddie is proud that all their work and commitment has been recognised. And this is Kenya in between receiving the award. Uh, on the left, it's the First Lady of Rwanda, Madame Jeanette Kagame, and Honourable Minister of Youth and ICT. This came at the right moment because it gave us the, the spirit of going on and doing more of the advocacy work we are doing. Media for the Deaf also plans to offer sign language workshops for journalists, as well as media training for deaf people. A difficult task because the young organisation is still struggling financially. So far, the nine board members have had to pay all expenses out of their own pockets. But their success proves that good ideas don't need much to grow. We challenge you.